together on six in our schools. And, and I just listened to you, so I just listened to you. You didn't talk, you didn't mention one question to Governor Scott about what are we going to do about the security for our children? How are we going to do that? But you're, you're just talking about gun control, which is going to just give you more ratings than every other media event. Our kids are going to school in Kentucky on Monday. How are those kids safe? How about bringing that up to the media? How about bringing that up to Governor Scott? Not about guns. It's not about guns now. Today, it's not about guns. It's about the safety in our schools. And, and, you, and that's what you ask Governor Scott about, and I got to listen to that at my house. My kid, my kid's not here because the schools weren't safe. That's the main thing. You go into a courthouse, the judge is safe. The, the, stena the stenographer is not worried if someone's coming in with a gun because they can't get in with a gun. The American people, we just want our schools safe. We don't want to talk about guns right now. And I've been saying it since day one. Do we rely on gun control at our airports? Do we want, rely on our murder laws at our airports? No, we arm ourselves. With the TSA, with airport security, with town or city police. And then the president today brings this up. Cut to a go. Don't worry about the NRA. They're on our side. You guys, half of you are so afraid of the NRA. There's nothing to be afraid of. And you know what? If they're not with you, we have to fight them every once in a while. That's not, that's just not see. Hey, aggravating and frustrating to me. I've said many times to you, the president is not a philosophical conservative, but he does conservative things. And by the way, not all the time. Here, it matters. If you don't have a foundational understanding. <clears throat> Constitution. If you don't have a foundational understanding of the Second Amendment, then you use the claptrap language of the life. Don't worry about the NRA. I'm not going to be afraid of the NRA. Mr. President, this is not about the National Rifle Association. This is not about politicians being afraid of the National Rifle Association. This is not about you having lunch with the leaders of the National Rifle Association. This isn't about making a deal over the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights and the Constitution of the United States. Some things are sacrosanct. To play into the left's agenda, to play into the left's propaganda, when not a single proposal on the so-called gun control side would have any impact whatsoever. Now that we know the facts, the outrageous incompetence of the local police the outrageous incompetence of the FBI that reports to you. Why are you engaging like this? With their language. With their argument. It's not enough to say, I love the NRA. I believe in the Second Amendment as much as they do, but, but what? did nothing. Zero. Nothing. Well, Mark, we could have prevented him from getting a background, uh, getting a gun if, you know, he couldn't have a rifle at the age of 21. No. 
What do you have? Long pistols too? What happens when he turns 21? All of a sudden, everything between his ears is okay? So he waits till he's 21. The lack of rationality in this debate is just unbelievable to me. The person who makes absolutely the most sense to me is Mr. Andrew Pollock, who lost his beautiful little daughter, who was slaughtered. He's the voice of reason. Him, Andrew Pollock. And to show you how incapable these politicians are, particularly on the left, of protecting our children, I want you to listen to Governor Jay Inslee, the state of Washington. Cut five, go. I have listened to the people who would be affected by that. I've listened to the people who would do that at any percentage. I've listened to the first grade teachers that don't want to be pistol packing first grade teachers. I've listened to law enforcement who have said they don't want to have to train teachers as law enforcement agencies, which takes about six months. So let's stop here. Good. And in your state, the state of Washington, the children won't be protected. Good. They want you as governor, you lousy, good-for-nothing, phony fraud. They want you as governor? Great. Then you won't have protection in your school. Then the teachers won't be trained in your school. And the people of Washington can continue to elect this, this creep over and over and over again. If you people in blue states want to elect liberals, then you can have illegal aliens. You can have massive taxes. You can have unprotected schools. You can have redistribution of wealth. You can undermine your local law enforcement. Do whatever the hell you want. Just count me out. Go ahead. I think this is a circumstance where we need to listen that educators should educate and they should not be foisted. Wrong. You don't get it, dummy, do you? You know why those schools are there? You know why we pay enormous property taxes for these buildings, for the administrators and the teachers, for all the equipments in those schools? Not for the teachers. The teachers are employees. Sorry, but they're to do what they're told. It's for the children. But you see, fools like Inslee and the others they talk about the NRA, have been bought and paid for by the NEA and the AFT. And both of these monopolistic unions have put out the word that they oppose them. You see, Mr. Inslee, I can find a biology teacher who would say, yes, I want to protect my students. I don't want them hiding under a desk when somebody comes here to blow them away. I'm sure I can find a first-year te grade teacher to do the same thing. And if not, they should be fired. Oh, damn right. They're employees. It's part of the job. See, these liberal utopias, ladies and gentlemen, they're hell holes. They're not utopias. They have to steal from other people by taxing them. They have to regulate your rights away. Meanwhile, they're in bed with the politicians. Certain constituent groups are better than other constituent groups certain special interests get special treatment while other people just pay and pay and pay and pay. Fine. Fine. And once the word goes out that in many of the red states the schools are protected but in the blue states they're not, where do you think most of the killing's going to take place? Oh, you got that right. This governor is not compassionate. He's a hack. This governor's not going to protect the children in that element, his elementary schools in that state. They're going to be exposed. I'll be right back. Mark Lovin.
970 is your home for Fox News Radio in Portland. Fox News Radio, fair and balanced. Every hour of every day. You're being radicalized in part by ISIS videos online. Hear the nation's top news stories at the top and bottom of every hour. 30 years ago? Have we not all matured in 30 years? Your home for Fox News Radio is Freedom 970. Portland's great place to talk. People make your business work. But how do you find the right talent? ZipRecruiter. One click posts your job to over 100 top job boards. Then, smart matching technology instantly alerts quality candidates about your job. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site.